traders. George Troop here taking a look at the markets this morning. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Uh, and it's a pretty positive start to the week uh, with lots of earnings results coming out today and in the next few days uh, and some market data as well. Uh, you can see I've got the DAX open here. Um, up slightly in the futures markets. Markets are just about to open. Um, similar um, things going on with the FTSE, as you can see, both about half a percent up uh, on the opening that's just about to happen. Uh, this follows a broadly positive uh, session over in Asia, where investors were picking up some real bargains after the Chinese tech stocks rout last week. Uh, there was some data out there showing Chinese manufacturing activity growth slowed last month uh, for the month of July. Uh, in the States as well, pre-market trade um, continued positively uh, along on the back of all this strong earnings result. Also some progress uh, on a $1 trillion infrastructure bill uh, and that seems to be overriding general concerns about uh, the spread of the coronavirus delta variant there you go markets have just opened a bit of a pop there as you can see uh taking the FTSE up a bit higher uh all the indices sort of moving in that direction um big ones out today we've got heineken axa and hsbc in Europe, um, and then a few more big ones over in the States. Um, here's HSBC. You can see um, pretty mixed year for them, uh, for their stock price. Um, but hang on, let me just find the results for you. Uh, Pre-tax profit more than doubles to $10.8 billion in the first half of 2021. Uh, so that's beating expectations again on the back of the coronavirus recovery, which as we see here. Um, and that's a dividend actually of $0.7.07 per share. Um, so quite strong results there. Revenue did fall. 4.5% from a year ago, uh, but that was still broadly in line with uh, uh, with what analysts had been predicting. Um, so a bit of a gain here. Um, currencies, let's have a quick look after a pretty weak, uh, weak week for the dollar last week, uh, with euro gaining, the pound gaining on it as well. Uh, that's pulled back slightly uh, since the end of the week but is still looking pretty strong. That's all on the back of Fed um, announcements last week, keeping a pretty loose monetary policy there. Um, gold was up a bit last week, has since fallen back down uh, around the 1800 mark, 1810, um, in line with broader line trends there. Um, last but not least, Let's have a quick look at the crypto markets. After a real storm of a week last week, it has managed to hold above 40,000 going into this week. Um, and that was the crucial measure. We were looking to see if it could get through and consistently stay there. Um, so this is a positive sign for Bitcoin. Um, whether it continu continues this run all the way back up to those crazy highs we saw earlier in the year um it's still pretty early to tell but that was really a big recovery week last week um so we'll keep an eye on that um pmis coming out this morning Purch purchasing managers index readings for july uh from across the eurozone and the uk so keep an eye on the bottom left of your platform here financial commentary and that'll pop up as they come out uh, and could have some moves on fx pairs uh, and indices as we see those in i'll be back later today before the us markets open to bring you a little update then thanks a lot